Hey guys, Ray Lines here, and today I'll be covering the world's worst marketing photoshops. Now this isn't the typical video you'd find on my channel, but I like to mix things up every now and then. The reason I'm doing this is I thought it would be a bit of fun. Although I'm only doing this for a bit of a laugh, um, I was thinking also that for those designers out there that are watching, um, I will be kind of going over in the obvious places where I would have done things a little differently in the design process, and um, maybe you'll pick up a few things, I don't know. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Right, okay, there's a lot happening here in this first one, so uh, let me just kind of take a second and look at the image. So there's a lot going on here, I don't know where to really start with this. Jesus Christ, the designer of this should be shot, oh my god. Okay, so let's start off with the obvious, and I mean, looking at this, there's a lot of obvious flaws. Um, first off, those are clearly photoshopped in after the picture was taken, and they didn't even attempt to make them blend in. Also, um, reading the comments on this one, apparently the controllers are the wrong way around, so I mean, they did not do their research on this. The second thing I want to point out about this is that her PS4 controller isn't even on. You know, now that I think about it, it's probably out of battery. Alright, alright, but putting all that aside, okay? The, the, the one thing that I can't understand is, I mean, what is she doing with her face? What is that facial expression? Uh, I mean, was there not a better photo you could use in this situation? And wait a minute, she she's not even looking at the screen. I mean, how how did this happen? How did this... How does this monstrosity get put together? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold on a second. I just noticed one more thing. What the f duck is wrong with her elbow? Jesus Christ, that looks painful. What's... How does this happen? I mean, who photoshopped this and went, yeah, that's the finished product. I'm delighted with my work here. Y you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm done with this picture. There, there's too much going on here that is just so 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 far wrong i mean this should just be illegal it's so disgusting but you know i'm, I'm moving on to picture two right so this is actually one of my all-time favorite photoshop fails and i remember seeing this around a lot in the past you may be familiar with it but i thought it had to make the cut for this video um i mean this was actually at one point live on a shopping website and this was the final product and i mean where are those hands coming from they're not even the same skin color. I'm, how does this happen? You know, there's just, there's something about their facial expressions that just makes this perfect as well. It's like, I don't know, it's like they're baked or something. They, it's like, like, yeah, it's like they're like, oh, well, yeah, we don't know what's going on either. <laughs> or some, I, I don't know, there's something with their faces. It just makes it more funny. And, and uh, I mean, this is actually just art right here. Whoever made this, uh, wow. You know, this quick illustration, that this just clears everything up, I understand now, it all makes sense. Brilliant, brilliant work. Right, this next one actually, you know, it, 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 it takes a second to click, but uh, well, in my case it did, maybe I'm just an idiot. Let me just give you a second. You got it? Did it click? Yeah, so, this guy took a slice out of his pizza, and apparently the pizza is infinite because the slice, I mean, wh where did it come from? Wh wh the, the pizza isn't cut. Now with these type of marketing design fails, what kind of makes it, you know, sweet and, and, and funny is, is, is that when you realize that these were actually put out into the public and, 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 and as you can see in this photo, it was clearly taken by someone's phone of a pizza box that they must have purchased in a shop. And that just, that just blows my mind. I mean, I mean, how many people looked at the box while it was in production and it just never clicked for anyone. Anyone! Now this is one of the more relatable kind of design fails because I mean I, I could see how this could happen but I just feel like with so many eyes looking at it during the production process I just don't get how no one kind of said hold on a minute uh, something's not right here. Okay so I really enjoyed this one but let's move on to the next one. Quick pause for a bit of self-promotion here. I know everybody on YouTube loves when people do this. So basically, I just want to say that if you're enjoying this video so far, um, cue sad music, every comment and like and subscribe goes a very far way and I'll hold it dear to my heart. No, but seriously, um, every comment actually means a lot to me. I love reading through the comments and seeing what people think and gathering feedback. And other than that, you can always like and subscribe too if you're enjoying the content. So here we have um, your one, uh, Megan Merkel, I think her name is, and uh, as you can see, she's really legitimately holding that uh, gym bottle in her hands. Nothing suspicious going on here whatsoever. 
Now, in all seriousness, the big major red flag for me in this photo is that if you look on the right hand side of the bottle, the top part is coming out far further than the bottom half of the bottle. I mean, quite frankly, it's just not aligned whatsoever. Now, this was posted by one of those very sketchy kind of uh, online stores selling stuff on Facebook. Um, you know, gym products and stuff, very cheap. And they wanted to, you know, pull off that whole, oh look, this big celebrity is using our products kind of thing. But I mean, they, they, I don't know how they went about it so poorly, and did it not dawn on them that this would not fool anyone? Now, I think my favourite part in all of this is the top voted comment on the post, and it's actually someone just directly shutting them down and calling them out on their lies. And they go as far as to say this is completely fake, an awful edit job, and then they even go ahead and link the original image with the, the, the comment. I think we can all agree that, you know, these online sketchy, annoying websites that just lie through their teeth to try and make a sale, it's just very satisfying seeing someone absolutely shut them down in public for everyone to see. Now I'm actually going to put out there for anyone who's interested, this is done by Herbalife, um, a company selling gym products, and I just wanted to put that out there because pretty much duck you for trying to scam people with this absolute garbage. This next one, you, you know it's going to be a good one. So basically, um, it's one of those ones that seems okay at first glance, but the longer you look, trust me, nothing in this picture makes sense. After looking for only a couple of moments, you start realizing that um, a lot of things are off here. For example, the, 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 the table full of food. If you look closely, a lot of these plates are photoshopped in very poorly, and it's one of those things that I almost wouldn't notice until, it, until you notice, and then you can't unsee how badly done it is. I guess before I go any further with this picture, I'll just let you know a bit of the background information. So this was posted on Reddit with um, someone um, captioning it that this was actually uh, on the menus and advertised on a billboard for their local Chinese restaurant. So that is, that is phenomenal. I mean, wow. Over on the left hand side, you can actually see that the guy is holding chopsticks that are split in half and they're just floating in mid-air holding up food. This is kind of getting a bit creepy. You know what, upon further inspection of this image, there is simply too much going on here that is so, so wrong that I'm just gonna have to move on to the next one, I think. I mean, over here on the right hand side, this girl's arm, like, disappears halfway through her glass of orange juice, and and her ha there's a hand on the table next- I, I, I don't- Do you know what, I don't know what's going on there. Let's just move on to the next one. Oh god, um, again, this one's kind of unsettling, um, Jesus, it's kind of a, a, an awkward one to look at. Now, I personally have never come across this Photoshop before, but apparently it was kind of um, one of those popular ones that went around, and she's known as the uh, Giraffe Neck Lady, which I think is just perfect. <laughs> but um, this was actually posted on a product selling website online, and it just, it's mad. I mean, how, how does management allow this to be put up live on site? Imagine the poor model who did the photo shoot and then seen the final results later on posted on the website. She must have been devastated. I mean, God, looking at it longer, it's just... Th her body position just looks so uncomfortable. I mean, I'm getting neck pains looking at this. Right, so this one was done by a company called SB Nation that sells clothes. I don't know how legit it is, but um, yeah, they posted this image um, advertising Tommy Hilfiger clothes. And again... You'll, you'll spot this one pretty quickly, I think. What the duck is wrong with that dude's leg? I mean, oh, that looks painful. Something looks very, very off there. It, it's kind of another one that's just sore to look at. You, you, you feel like it's, it's so deformed that you can almost like feel the pain of it. Now, the title of this post was actually Must Have Skipped Leg Day, and I can kind of see why, because looking on the right-hand side, the, the other guy's not looking too great himself. I mean, his legs look a bit out of proportion or something. You know, this picture has me wondering, why did they possibly need to change the size of the legs, or even just manipulate the image in any way? I, I mean, it looks like the whole photo was crystal clear, except they just decided to mess with the legs a little bit. And I, I just don't understand why they do this. Well, who knows, maybe they had their reasons, so uh, yeah, let's move on to the next image. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with The Big Bang Theory. It's a, it's a series on TV that is very, very popular. It's a comedy series. But um, with that being said, they released this image as part of a promotion for one of their recent series that was released. And um, it, it doesn't look bad, I mean it looks, it looks pretty nice, but uh, just when you look at it, it becomes very apparent that um, 
there's a lot of photoshopping going on. I mean, the background is very, very, very fake. And um, if you look even closer, you can kind of make out that um, not everyone is actually in the room and they're clearly all photoshopped to make it look like the photo was taken in one place. But um, yeah, upon further inspection, it kind of becomes very clear that no one in this photo was next to each other during the photo session. And um, I, I don't know why they do this. I mean, do the, do the uh, you know actors hate each other this much? that they won't uh, go to a photo shoot together or were they busy with other things occupying their time schedule? Who knows, but um, I just thought it was a funny one because it's such a, a, a well-known series around the world and you'd think they'd, you know, put in that little extra bit of, bit of effort to make sure it looks legitimate. I saved the best for last. Uh, this image I actually really enjoyed because there's so much things to talk about in it. And I think we can all agree that we're sick of seeing silly ads like this being promoted around the internet. And uh, let's just get, let's just jump into it. So to start off, what I'd know immediately, and it's my biggest um, kind of irritant about this photo, is that the two models are clearly the same lady, we know that. But if you look closer, it's the same photo, but just really heavily photoshopped. And it took me a minute, and it shouldn't have, but it took me a minute to realize which one was photoshopped. And yes, it's the one on the left. But um, it becomes very obvious once you realize this. Maybe I'm an idiot yet again. But uh, once I realize this, what, um, what, what made me realize this is that um, if you look at certain parts of the photo on the right, you can see that they're identical on the left. Like her hair is in the exact same position. Her facial expression is identical. And um, well, I guess that's about it. You couldn't quite say the same for the body. But um, yeah, I mean, following on from that, I must say it is actually a pretty good Photoshop here. I mean, looking at the detail on the bodies, they added in, you know, certain aspects that are kind of impressive. I mean, the way the, uh, the, the shorts kind of wrap around the bulges of fat on the left, I, 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 I'm pretty impressed by this. I, I'd love to really actually know how they did this. But, you know, just adverts like this, I think they get under everybody's skin. And, I mean, looking at this, you know, $10 down to $1, that's just a red flag that you're probably buying a pretty poor product. Okay, so that's a wrap, guys. I'm gonna leave the video at this. I actually hope you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed making this type of video. And uh, again, as I mentioned, if you thought this was an enjoyable video, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to take the extra step and just be absolutely awesome, you can smash the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload again. You know how it works. I don't know why I'm explaining it. And goodbye.